Hi guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm getting ready to make some stuffed butternut squash. So. I love you. Happy birthday. My mother-in-law's birthday today. So we had to wish her a happy birthday. Okay, thank you. So, um, this is what my daughter gave me the other earlier this week. It's got hummingbirds on it. See the hummingbird? It is so cute. I love it. So, it means a lot to me because she gave it to me, and I love hummingbirds. And it's a little measuring cup. It holds about one cup. I'm going to set it right here just in case I have to use it. It's there for me. This guy's going to be really hot. Uh, I, mic I microwaved him for 12 minutes. 12 minutes. So, I'm just going to cut her open and let her cool a little bit. So, I was trying to think of what is low carb or keto. Now, keto's, I guess, 25 net um, carbs. Let's turn this this way a little bit. Get my knife. And so, butternut squash is about 15 net carbs. And so I wanted to use it because I already had it here. But like zucchini and spaghetti squash are much lower, like three to five net carbs per cup. This is a somewhat small butternut squash. This should do the job. I'm just going to cut it in half. And you could just put it in your uh, Instapot for maybe like five minutes, ten minutes. But microwave is so easier, much easier for some reason for me. No prep, just stick it in there. Hit six, turn it, and hit six again. And then it's all mushy. I still got to get out these seeds and this little bit of pulp right here. <clears throat> So, it's similar to zucchini boats. Instead of zucchini boats, the butternut squash boats. Or stuffed uh, butternut squash. I haven't figured out what I'm going to call it quite yet. Because if I call it a boat, I always think of zucchini. I'm going to get that mixed up. <laughs> For real, though. So... I think I'll just stick with stuffed butternut squash because I have yet to make the uh, zucchini squash or uh, zucchini boats and those are pretty popular during the summer this is a summer squash So I've got all my seeds out, so they look like this, they're so pretty, very pretty. Now, I'm not going to waste any of this, whatever I get out of here, I'm going to put in the pan with our, um, with our ground turkey. I was going to use, either make it a vegetarian dish and use impossible meat, but I didn't find any at Save Mart where I went. I was probably looking in the wrong places. But I found uh, ground turkey, so we're going to do that. And I wasn't too sure about the net carbs for... Uh, net carbs for um, the Impossible Meat as well. I wasn't too sure about that. So... So this pulp right here, we're going to use inside the ground turkey once we get it going. 
minus the seeds. Let me use that. Cut into it a little bit. It's a little hot still, so. Okay. Let that cool. I'm going to give my hands a quick rinse. We're going to get started on our meat over here. I still have to get, um, turn on the light, get a cutter for this. I actually like using scissors. Hi, Savannah. Making a stuffed butternut squash. I just got back from the store. I got to open this ground turkey real quick. Finally, found my scissors. I'm just going to cut this open because there's going to be juices everywhere. So I'm doing it over the sink. Ugh. Got it open. I got to get my pan. Where is my pan? My pan, my pan, my pan. So use this one. I'm exhausted. How you doing? Yummy, I have never tried that before. Oh, well, I love butternut squash, and I made butternut squash enchiladas, and I wanted to make something different, too. And I thought of zucchini boats, and I said, oh, I got butternut squash. I'm going to do that. <laughs> Whoops. I want to put it on, I think, five. Ooh, fish. Whoa, yummy. I love fish. I love fish. You made it for your family? That's awesome. Me too. <laughs> Was it salmon? Oh, I have that meat breaker upper thing. Let me get my tool. I gotta get my tool. salmon oh did you cook it did you broil it bake it grill it I love salmon Millie I haven't made any recently because you know the kids and Brian don't really like it I'd have to do something tricky to it. So I don't make it much here, but when we go out to eat, I always order it. That sounds really good. I, I was just in Paradise, and I went there to get this stuff at the grocery store. And then we got that weather alert saying it's going to be thundering. We, the sky is all dark outside. 
Oh, he baked it? Awesome. Teamwork. You both you both did some cooking, huh? Some good teamwork going. He made dinner tonight? Awesome. Yeah, I like it when Brian cooks too sometimes. Most of the time though, if he cooks, he cooks like tacos and hamburgers, fries, that type of thing. Oh, awesome. Is it rainy? Oh, it's not snowing up. It's not snowing in paradise. It is raining though. It's raining here now, I guess. But there's no snow in paradise. I think it's all in up in Megalia in Sterling City now. I like this tool. This is awesome. <laughs> yeah, it, it, I, I thought for sure maybe there might be some snow there, but no, there was no snow. Okay, we're going to cut up our red bell pepper as soon as I wash it rinse it real quick isn't it pretty <laughs> gotta make everything look good on camera shine her up just to cut her open oh you know what we you should go with us sometime we just go right up the road the only thing we need to do is um, get the kids some snow gear, some uh, like you know the boots and the leggings and stuff. I want to go too. That would be fun. We drove up there and just let the kids play a little bit, but they didn't really want to get in it too much because they didn't have the gear, the proper gear for the for the snow. I need to get them. I need to go find some. Even if it's at the thrift store. I used to do that with my kids when they were younger. I used to go to the thrift stores and get them snow gear, snow boots and stuff. Because, you know, they were cheaper and they wouldn't, they wouldn't last very long because they'd grow out of them so fast. So... I seen that they had keto bread. I can't read what you're saying. I'm gonna have to bring you closer. They have keto bread. I bought some. <laughs> I'm like, they need to go buy some snow suits and boots. Yes, yes. We need to go buy some snow boots and some stuff because it's so fun and it only comes, you know, once a year this time of year. And it goes by so fast. Too fast. You can come through here, baby. So I'm cutting up this red pepper. I'm trying to cut it up as small as I can. Because then the kids won't notice it as much. <laughs> and say, what is that? I cut it little fine, fine little pieces. Yeah, I want to go to the snow here soon too. I know, huh? Yeah, it'd be fun. It would be lots and lots of fun. And you know, the kids always have a good time. Yeah, they like the snow. Well, yeah. it gets too cold on them. They always have a good time. Wow. What's that, babe?
So Brian is trying to do the fasting again, where he lost a lot of weight, I guess, when he fasts. So he didn't eat nothing today. So, I mean, I, I try to join him on that, but it's so hard for me. Like, I can fast 12 hours or whatever right after, you know, sleeping all night. But it's so hard for me to just, like, not eat throughout the day. I think it's just probably like that for women in general. Yes? No? It's live. I can't pause. Well, let's see. Savannah said hi, Brian. Hi. He said hi. Um. Oh. I'm trying to read that. I gotta get my glasses. This is terrible. What? <laughs> Over in Chico, at Once Upon a Child, they have kids use. Oh! I'm gonna have to check that out. I've never been there. I think I've heard of it though. Um, but I've never been there. So I'm going to find a pan to drain my meat. I'm just going to drain it. What's wrong? Are you on high blood pressure again? Uh, huh? Yeah. Well, don't freak yourself out. Come in here. Well, why would you do that? Okay, let's drain this meat. Okay, I drained it. Now we're going to put it back over here. I guess you can see that. Because I thought if I did it and I knew that the headache wasn't from that, that it would mm -hmm. calm me down. So, about a quarter of a cup of Worcestershire sauce. Honey, take a blood pressure pill. I already did. Okay. And I'm putting these little bell peppers in here. Are you? Okay, and this is already cut up, but I'm going to um, cut it up even more. The smaller the bell pepper gets, the better. So the kids, they're not, you know, they're picky and stuff, so that's okay. Because with everything together... They'll be asking for more. Hi, Jessica. How are you? Okay, so I'm going to add my no salt seasoning about a quarter of a teaspoon and I'm going to add Italian if I can find my Italian here it is about one teaspoon Italian or you can just um, if you don't have the mix you do the thyme basil and um, oregano and rosemary 
Not too much longer, my love. What, you need me to drive you? So tomorrow I make um, Stefan's birthday cake. He's having a little um, birthday party. Chocolate, 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 chocolate cake. And I say it like that. I bought some Hershey's, um, Hershey's bars. I'm gonna melt some of that and put it in the um, in the frosting. is supposed to be an outer opening but hopefully this guy will open soon there we go so I'm adding a can of petite diced tomatoes with the juices, it's low in sodium, so it's fine. Me and Brian both have high blood pressure, so we really try to watch our sodium. For, but when we go out, oh boy, it's dangerous. Hold on a second. Okay, I thought you said something about the chocolate cake. Ooh, sauteed green beans. Yes, he loves chocolate. He's a lover of chocolate, my goodness. That boy can eat chocolate all day long if I let him. So I bought some um, garlic paste. I'm going to add that. So I've got my bell pepper. I've got my tomatoes with the juices. I've got um, a teaspoon of Italian seasoning and my no salt seasoning, which has black pepper in it. Make sure you guys can see that. Here's my garlic paste. I just bought it at Save, Save Mart. I'm sure they have some kind of, yeah, that's sealed. So I'll take that off. So I'm going to do like one, two, three, like three cloves. Yes. Oh my gosh, Savannah, it smells so good. <laughs> oh yeah, and you got the Worcestershire sauce in there too. And the garlic. This is like very hearty, you know, with all that Italian seasonings and tomatoes and garlic. So it's almost like stuff you would use for spaghetti, I guess. But I'm going to add a little ketchup in here. Where is our ketchup? Right, so this is um, no high fructose corn syrup ketchup. So probably about a half a cup to three quarters of a cup. That's going to be our tomato base because it's already got sweeteners in it. 
It's in between um, a tomato sauce and a paste. You got your vinegar and sugar and all that stuff in it. Okay, so the next step is to add our remaining um, butternut squash. What I chopped up earlier, I'm going to grab it right now. So I'm going to get a little um, plate. I, the beginning of the video, I showed this. It's a little hummingbird measuring cup my daughter got for me. It is so cute. I was wanting to use it, but I don't really have to measure anything out. So, I'll use it next time. I'm just cutting up this butternut squash a little bit. Cut kind of in big chunks. We're going to add all this pulp to our to our meat mixture I love butternut squash you guys I think it's the winter time squash okay I think you guys can see Did you? Did you invent? I just pretty much use what I do. Um, I'm doing what I do when I make zucchini boats. And I do the same exact thing for my zucchini boats. I pulp it out and I put the remainder of the zucchini inside of the meat sauce. And I use a little bit of ketchup for the sauce, and I also use the Worcestershire for both recipes. And sometimes I'll use onion, but um, I don't use, I'm, I'm not using onion in this dish, but I have for the zucchini boats. They're very, very similar. So yes, I pretty much put it together myself. Okay. Shouldn't do that while I'm. So I'm gonna put this on simmer. We're on low heat now. We got everything incorporated. So we want it thick. So when we put it inside the um, butternut squash, it'll stick. It'll stick to it. All right, we're done with all that. Now all we have to do is stuff these guys. I'm gonna get a plate. You okay, man? Uh -huh. Kind of a short butternut squash it's not too big so I am just gonna stuff these guys can you see Savannah I always think you guys can see and then and then something happens and you guys can't see anyway I can see it on the screen Okay, so it smells really yummy. I'm just going to go ahead and turn the fire off, and I'm going to stuff these guys. And I'll probably cut these. You can get these bigger too. Oh, awesome. Thank you. 
I love you, Savannah. Just, I love it because you talk back. <laughs> a lot of people, if I ask questions, they don't say anything. Anyway, I feel like you were here with me. Um... I could, because the butternut squash is already made and the meat's already made, I'm just going to top it with a little bit of cheese and pop it under the broiler for maybe five minutes. Just to, just to melt the cheese. But I can cut these in half. I can cut these in half. Um, so I could easily make this four servings to make it a cup each of the butternut squash. Cut this in half and cut this one in half. So like me and Brian will get the bigger half because we're adults and the kids will get the smaller half. <laughs> um, now I'm going to have leftover. I hear your phone ringing, love. Why? Yeah, and I think it's in the laundry room. Um, but yeah, because they say for keto, um, like one cup of squash, butternut squash, is like 15 net carbs. So I figure that's probably about a cup's worth. Looky there. Look at that. I want to put some sweet basil or some parsley on there. I think I'll do sweet basil if I have it. I'll check real quick. But there we go. Butter, stuffed butternut squash. Let me grab the... Um, I am... <clears throat> I'm trying to do keto or just lower carb. Yeah, which is just less sugar. And um, so it, it gets kind of challenging because when you're trying to do uh, keto, you can only have so many carbs. But then I'm trying to do the 1,200 calorie diet too. So when you balance it out, you, do, you have higher fat, which means more calories. So you got to try to keep it under 1,200 calories but still do keto. I'm trying to balance them all together. <clears throat> and I'm so new at this. I'm very new at this. So, you know, if anything, it's low carb. I'm still, yeah, a little bit. Um, because I just had that goal in mind that I want to keep it under 1,200, but... You know, we're not perfect. I'm going to mess up. I always do. And I just get back the next day. I get back on the wagon again. And and I just try to, I just try to, you know, keep going. we got to keep going. We can't give up. I found my basil. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put some of this basil on here. See if I can open it. There it is. So I'm just crushing it with my hands and rubbing it on there. It's supposed to activate the dry, dry herbs. And that just sweetens it up a little bit. Okay, there we go. Now, I think I'm going to add a little bit of cheese. Oh. And they say, so this is a Fiesta blend. It has Monterey Jack, cheddar. The white and yellow cheese. Okay. 
If the kids want more, I'll just have to give them more of the stuff and maybe put it on bread or something because I um, only had one butternut squash. <laughs> this should be enough. But there you go. Not adding too much cheese. Added a little bit more cheese on the kids. Oh, yeah, ice cream. I see mint chip. That's like my favorite. Mm -mm -mm. So I can stick this in the microwave. I can stick it under the broiler. I think I'll just stick it in the microwave. It's so much faster. Just for like 30 seconds, just to melt the cheese on top. And then we're done with our butternut squash. I just have to clean up my mess. I've got these cute little lemons. These are seedless little lemons. Aren't they cute? They were three for 99 at the grocery store. Or you can pay for one, 69 cent for one. I said I'm getting a three. So thirsty, guys. Look at my stuff for cake for tomorrow night. For Stefan's birthday. I've got, um, so I've got the Hershey's cocoa. I'm going to use a tiny bit of that in the cake mix and also um, the frosting. And I've got the chocolate frost or chocolate bar I'm gonna melt to put in the frosting. Yes, babe. Yes. And I've got the chocolate pudding that I'm gonna put in the cake mix. So that's tomorrow night. Yeah, he loves chocolate. He's getting chocolate. That's why I said chocolate, 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 chocolate. Alright, gonna pull these guys out. All right, guys, there you go. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. A dinner to reckon with. Look at that. All right. <laughs> he is a lucky boy. He's well loved. But I'm going to go ahead and slice this up, and I'm going to dish it and plate it out. I'm going to get off here, and I'll see you guys later. So... Tomorrow, Lord willing. All right, bye, Savannah. I'll talk to you later.